Late Night with the Devil is a horror movie by the inestimable Cairns Brothers, the cinematic geniuses who brought us smash hits like 100 Bloody Acres, Scare Campaign, and three episodes of How to Stay Married, which is apparently a TV show. And from the looks of things is probably far scarier than the aforementioned films. But from the ashes of this television wasteland they have risen, put their talents to the test, and created a movie that is fun, unique, and really gosh diddly darn good. You like that language, YouTube? Can I have money now? So yeah, let's cut through the cheesy bit. I was unaware of these directors, and all I knew about their latest feature was that it was a horror movie about a talk show, that it used some sort of found footage gimmick, and that people were really positive about it. Now, just some background on me, I fucking hate found footage. Oh wait, we're trying to get monetized. <sighs> I golly darn hate found footage. It can be good, but 999 times out of a thousand, it's just cheap, ugly, predictable, poorly written, generic nonsense aimed at the lowest common denominator. Paranormal Activity and all of its sequels and spin-offs can eat every part of my posterior. Thankfully, however, Late Night with the Devil does its own interesting thing, does it well, and transitions beautifully in the last act into a more classic cinematic space. Space. But I'm getting ahead of myself as usual. Let's start at the beginning. Boy howdy, it's the 1970s, and Jack Delroy is a host on a late night TV show. You know the kind, they're all embarrassing, except for Conan O'Brien, god I love that man. Jack has been struggling for years to get ratings, and his wife recently passed away from lung cancer. I'm sure that won't come into play in this horror film. Uh, and he's having a Halloween episode. He's got one of those mentalists who talks to the dead relatives of audience members, a skeptic who wants to disprove him, and a little girl straight out of the exorcist. She's apparently the survivor of a satanic cult who perished in a fiery Jonestown style suicide, and is possessed by some kind of malevolent force. And that's the setup, let the good times roll. So first of all, I really love the presentation of this film. It's shot like a late night show from the 1970s, and everything from the camera work to the editing really pull you into this reality, to the point where, I'm not even kidding, one time they said cut to commercial, and I reached for my remote to fast forward, momentarily forgetting that this was a movie, so strong was the spell of its production. In between the televised portions we get documentary style backstage footage where character drama plays out as the events of the night get stranger and stranger, and all this taken together feels like you've unearthed some kind of weird documentary. I also really like the pacing. It's only 90 minutes long, which in this case is perfect, but within that framework, it does take a long time to heat up, which is also a good thing. This isn't The Conjuring. Don't expect all kinds of wacky CGI ghosts and insane wild nonsense happening everywhere. For most of the film, it's just a late night TV show and plays true to its context. It's fairly restrained until it's not. And the last the last act of the movie goes pretty haywire in a wonderful way, but also in a way that might divide audiences a bit depending on your cinematic proclivities. You see, it's kinda hard to know what this movie is for a while. Like, what's the trajectory gonna be? This was my experience, okay? I'd never seen anything quite like it, but I was fully drawn in and waiting for it to take a turn, which I knew it was gonna do, but I didn't know what that would look like, because this is such a novel approach for a movie. Not only the television show format, but a period piece as well. So would the payoff be psychological? paranormal? Would they go the modern route with CGI monsters? I had no idea. And I'm pleased to say I think they did this in the best possible way. It turns out Late Night with the Devil is, when all is said and done, a late night 70s B-movie. It goes into exorcist territory. It has some fun splatter elements with great practical effects. And everything from the tone itself to the filmmaking style, when it finally breaks out of the box of its television artifice evokes a movie straight out of the 70s. And I love that. 
they just committed. Like, this is a 70s movie. It's got that satanic panic angle, it's got some grindhouse in its DNA, and every element of the production coheres to that vision. I know I've been a bit vague on details here, but that is by design in this case, because a lot of the fun I had was not knowing when the feces would hit the fan, so to speak, and I enjoyed the buildup immensely. And that's Late Night with the Devil. I don't know how this will play for anyone expecting a modern horror experience. I expect they'll be bored, but I kinda loved it, and I fully recommend it to anybody with some patience, an appreciation for the formal side of cinema since it's such an inventive concept, and especially if you like your freakout movies to be old school. Practical effects, baby. You just can't beat them. Oh yeah, and the script is pretty good too. Nice and solid. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this masterclass of cinematic wisdom, then do me a solid by subscribing and share this video with your pals or I'll summon the spirit of Pazuzu to ram your posterior in the night. Peace, love, and laughs, and I'll see you in the next one.